COVID-19 testing laboratory has been established in Adama State. This follows announcement by Nigeria Center for Disease Control, the NCDC, that the Federal Medical Center, Yola, now houses its 25th COVID-19 laboratory. The agency further said that it was still working on establishing orders in Katsina, Kwara, Anambra and Gombe State. To bring us up to speed on the latest development in that Adama State is a Commissioner for Health, Professor Abdullahi Issa. Good afternoon to you, Professor, and thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Good morning. Can you confirm the news stating that the NCDC has established a lab in Adama? Yes, we, we now have a testing laboratory in the Federal Medical Center here in Yola. Uh, before now, we've been sending our samples to Abuja and lately to Jos. Uh, you know, because of this lockdown, we have been having problems with transportation initially to Abuja. The Air Force have been helping us uh, to carry our samples to Abuja. And then lately, we've been relocated to Jos, where we usually send our samples uh, by road. But uh, thank God, now we have a testing lab with our Federal Medical Center here. And that is a lot of difficulties for us. Can you kindly give us an idea of what the state of the lab is like and its capacity? Well, uh, you know, uh, the lab has not yet started, uh, but its capacity, we can test at least a uh, hundred samples a day. Okay. What is the latest about the outbreak of COVID-19 in Adama State currently? You say? What is the latest update on the on COVID-19, the, the outbreak of COVID-19 in Adama State? Well, actually, our numbers, our suspected cases are on the declining side because uh, right now we've tested over 190 suspects, uh, out of which 21 came back to be positive. As we speak now, we have already discharged 13 of the 21 patients in our isolation center, or we only have eight patients remaining now. And the eight, they are waiting for their uh, lab results to, to, to be released from jobs. And, and what's the general disposition like with residents and indigenous of Adma State as it affects COVID-19 and their yes. level of compliance? Actually, you see, the, from January when this disease uh, became a pandemic, uh, Adama State have been preparing rigorously, especially on the awareness side. Uh, we have been intensifying awareness both uh, within the state capital and its environment, especially the 21 local governments. Uh, while we had a meeting with the local government chairman who were urged to set up uh, a COVID-19 containment committee in their respective local governments, with the chairman as the as the as the chair of the committee, and then you have the education uh, executive secretaries of the primary healthcare centers as the secretaries of the committee, and they have been doing a very good job. Uh, the awareness here uh, is very much heightened in the localities, and all the rules of uh, this social distancing. Uh, hand washing with soap and water where you have where necessary you use hand sanitizers uh the wearing of face masks which uh, recently became compulsory in the state and people have been uh complying and i think that contributed to uh to the low number of uh, suspected cases that we are seeing today finally professor abdullahi a few states yes. have started easing down the lockdown imposed in their states. Can you yes. clarify to us if Adama State also has relaxed the lockdown? Yeah, right now Adama State has relaxed lockdown for the past uh, five days. Uh, we only key in to the federal government regulations of uh, coffee from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. But actually lockdown has been eased uh the social distancing is still maintained anyway uh, but the lockdown has been eased as well professor abdullah is uh commissioner for health mass at the state thank you for joining us and for your contribution on the news thank you very much you are welcome